a beautiful world we live in. It's full of plush green forests and beautiful animals, lovely waterfalls, big blue oceans, and it's our duty and obligation to destroy that. Or at least that's how it's looking to me anyway, because I'm looking through some animal species that are going extinct, some plant species that are going extinct, and you know, some of them are going extinct for pretty freaking stupid reasons, and I'm going to share some with you. Like the incredibly terrifying Cook's Robber Frog. It's just terrifying. Let's take another look. God, it's scary. Look at it. It's disgusting and scary. Actually, that's kind of a fucking cute frog to me, but what do I know? I'm not a Puerto Rican. I don't know anything. Ah, you so racist, Brad. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No. Yes. I'm not racist. I'm saying that I'm not Puerto Rican and don't know anything because the Puerto Ricans thoroughly believe that that is a terrifying frog. To look upon it, for it to be near you, is to bring doom and destruction. And why do they believe that? Well, because it looks a little creepy. The thing that I'm finding absolutely pathetic about all this is that no one in Puerto Rico realizes that the frog that is supposed to bring doom and destruction to you is so easy to kill that it's going extinct because you keep killing them. This is like one of those get them before they get you sort of things, isn't it? But what's even more sad than that is the fact that the Bengal tiger is going extinct too. Yes, this beautiful cat is going extinct. Because the people in India don't really see it as we do. They see it as more of a cat from hell. Anytime this beautiful cat's portrayed in an Indian film that has anything to do with tigers, you usually see it probably feasting on the body of a small dead child. Human dead child. Though tiger attacks are rare, um, almost unheard of, I mean, why would such a beautiful creature ever want to feast on anything that's not human? I mean, if I was awesome like that, I'd, I'd only eat people too. Or at least that's what people are saying to justify this. Yeah, it seems like tiger skin anything's really become quite popular lately. Kinda sucks. It's kinda sad how arrogant the human race is if they believe they can only be warmed by the back of a dead and dangerous animal. Oh, don't act like you're some animal rights activist, Brad. Oh my god, your jacket is leather. Yes, it is, but cows aren't endangered, so screw you guys. I'm far from arrogant, man. I'm not being in, kept warm by the back of a dead and dangerous tiger. I'm being kept by a dried out cow's ass. It's different. And a little bit more upsetting than a tiger is actually the rhinoceros, which is being killed for its horn. I mean, this is old news. People have been doing this for years, but this time it's for something a little bit more stupider. Stupider even a word? More stupid, stupider, stupidest, stupid. One that is stupid, stupider. I, I don't think stupider is one. Something that's even more stupid than just killing them for their horn. They are killing them for their horn because inside their horn is a substance called keratin. It's actually what makes up the horn. It's what makes up most hair and fingernails. And they're taking this because it's actually going to be used inside of a um, new pill coming out in Asia or something like that. The Chinese doctors are just having a field day with this. They're going to make something that stops headaches. Yay. So they're killing these things for their horn to get the keratin. They're killing endangered species. I mean, I don't understand that, because keratin is the same no matter where you find it. You're going to find it in a 2-year-old's head of hair. You're going to find it in a 92-year-old's head of hair. You're going to find it in the ass hair that's probably growing on your dad right now. It's going to be the same. You can find it in your fingernails. You can find it in your girlfriend's fingernails. You can find it in your boyfriend's fingernails. You can find it pretty much anywhere. And the thing that I'm not entirely understanding about this is that they're going to be killing endangered species when they can just get it from their citizens. I mean, there's plenty of people out there with hair. Like, being in China is a lot like being inside of a subway station. It's overpacked and you can barely walk. And it seems like a lot of people have actually taken to growing their hair as long as they possibly can. It's like a motherfucking extreme sport out there. I don't know what the hell's going on, but women are doing it all over China. Here's a really disgusting picture of it. You know what might be a little bit more effective than taking keratin from the uh, horn of an endangered species? Taking it from these ladies. They've got enough to spare. Do that. Might help. Might save the planet, too. Or at least that species. I don't know. Just take it from these ladies. Yeah. Imagine what their pubes are like. And last, but certainly not least, the man is tree snail. Have a look. 
Yeah, who's going to want to kill the snail and why? I mean, maybe it's the French because they're pussies and they like to freaking eat that escargot crap. No, it's pretty much just people who like jewelry because the shells are really kind of cool and they make good earrings for douchebags who want to hypocritically pretend that they give a shit about the environment and its little inhabitants. Look at her earrings. Well, you gotta have the snail shell, Brad. Oh my god, you're not gonna be able to get anything like it everywhere. I mean, it's just the color that's completely uncopyable. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Completely uncopyable. Unless you have ever heard of paint. They sell paint at a lot of places. You can go to Michael's. That's a pretty good place to get some. Um, you can buy shells there, too. I'm pretty sure if you go there and buy some shells and some paint and... I don't know, if you want to get the hooks to make your own earrings too, they sell those there. I'm pretty sure that you're going to be able to copy that without having to kill the endangered snail. Think about it. Yeah, that pretty much covers this video. I just had to let you guys know why some pretty crazy, cool animals were dying. I mean, I'm not the big animal rights activist, but Jesus Christ. These are just some fucking stupid reasons. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, have a good day. Bye.